As I've said many times in the past, I always feel seats are one of those areas where a lot of Mustang enthusiasts simply don't think it's a good idea to upgrade. Now with these cars, we spend a lot of money on performance, better braking, better horsepower, better suspension. Well, a lot of times, you go past what the factory seat's gonna do, especially in the case of a class like our 67 here. So today we're gonna upgrade these seats to something a lot more performance to fit the build of this car. This is the Touring 2 seat from Distinctive Industries, designed specifically for your 67 Mustang. Now this seat might look a little bit familiar. This is actually a SCAT Pro Car frame and foam, and then they work with Distinctive, where Distinctive makes the upholstery that mimics the look of the original 67. So you get the style of the original seat, but the performance and support of an aftermarket sports seat. This has much larger bolsters on the bottom and the back, fully reclines, and even includes an optional headrest. For this installation, we did a 3 8 ratchet, six inch extension, half inch deep socket, and a razor blade. The first step in the process obviously is to remove our factory seats. Now if you've never done this before, it's very, very simple. You have to do it from underneath the car. The factory tracks have four studs and there's four nuts underneath. Now there's supposed to be rubber covers over each one. You pop off those four rubber covers, remove the nuts, and pull the seat out. This is where the rubber cover should be. You want to remove that first if you do have one. All right, with the nuts off the studs, now you just pop the seat out. Now, while this seat is specific to the 67 because of the upholstery, the seat frame itself is universal and will fit other years. So what we have to do is a little assembly required. We're gonna start by installing the sliders and there's brackets that are specific to this particular vehicle we'll install next. The hardware is provided to install these. In case you're wondering if the stock tracks will work. I'll tell you right now, they actually will bolt up to the seat. But when installed, they're about three quarters to an inch wider and the factory track setup would be, so unless you want to drill extra holes in your floor, they will not work. Just get that snug, because you have to be able to loosen it up so the slider will go over it, so you get the bottom hole. All right, the next step in the process to install this adjusting rod. This is going to go from the handle here to this release point. So when we pull the handle, it releases both locks. Now this is the vehicle specific adapter for our car. Now this is gonna be installed next. And here, you can actually put it in different slots on depending on what kind of height you're looking for. We're gonna just put it in the middle. That'll give us a good starting point. And if we wanna make changes later, we can. You want to get all four of these hand tight before you tighten them down. You may have to actually tap this and adjust a little bit to make everything line up like it's supposed to.
Okay, so we have our seat track assembled now on our seat. Now you notice there is no hardware included by the manufacturer to install into your vehicle. Again, because these are kind of unique as far as they're a generic fit for different years, they don't include hardware. So what you wanna use here, we're using 5 16th bolts. And these are 5 16th 18. That'll allow you to use the factory nuts on the bottom, that factory nut on the bottom, make for a much easier installation. All right, now we can put the seat back in the car. I shouldn't say back, we actually put the seat in the car. We'll go back into the car, we'll reinstall the original hardware. All right, then you want to repeat the process on the other side and your installation is finished. Now, once you have the seat bolted on, your installation is finished. Now, if you want to though, they include these optional headrests. Now, these are gonna go basically just like this. <clears throat> so if you want to install them, you see these two clips are gonna go through the vinyl. So what you have to do is get an idea where it goes. And if you push down the vinyl, you'll actually find the opening for those fittings. What you do is make a little X. Well, the seat's fully installed. Now you can see how the Distinctive industry seats match the back seat. The upholstery has the same design, so it looks almost like a factory seat. But this bucket is so much better than the factory bucket. It's far more supportive, which is excellent for a high-performance car like this. And God forbid you're in an accident, it's gonna be a much safer seat as well. As far as the installation goes, it is pretty straightforward. Give yourself a couple hours, be back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.